Now looking at the ortho center on the coordinate plane, and I wish I wish I could give you a shorter way to do this like the centroid, because the centroid could go really quickly with that formula, but ortho center is just not that easy. We do have to go through all the work, very similarly how we do the circumcenter. Okay, so we're finding the ortho center of a triangle and we have its vertices. So I'm just gonna do a quick sketch of what just like a rough triangle, just to use as a reference. I'm not necessarily plotting it on the coordinate plane, okay? If you would like to plot it on the coordinate plane, that's completely up to you. I know that this is not right at all. I'm just plotting it. So this is A, B, and C, just so I can get a feel for what it looks like. And if I want the ortho center, I'm thinking about altitudes, right? And altitudes, we should be thinking about perpendicular lines. And when we talk perpendicular lines, we think slopes, slopes, perpendicular, opposite reciprocal slopes, okay? Now, we only need to be looking at two altitudes because all of the um, altitudes are concurrent, so we don't need, to th need all three, just need two of them, all right? So I'm going to look at the altitude from B to AC first, okay? Now, if I'm looking at the altitude from B to AC, what do we know about this altitude? Let's call it, let's put it in green. Let's put this segment in green. Let's call it BD, okay? What would I know about BD? Well, I know that it's perpendicular to AC, okay? So if I want to find BD's equation, I'm going to look at the slope of AC and do the opposite reciprocal. So the slope of AC is going to be negative 4 minus 2 over 6 plus 4. So that's negative 6 over 10, which is negative 3 fifths. So the slope of BD, which is what I'm actually concerned about, would be positive 5 thirds, right? Because it's the opposite reciprocal. Now. What else do I know about BD? Well, I know the slope is now 5 thirds and it's passing through the point of B. I don't know where D is and it's not the midpoint, right? It might look like it from my sketch, but that's just the way I drew it. It's not the midpoint. So it's going from B to D, so it's passing through the point 0, 6. So now I could write my equation of my line using the slope and my point 0, 6. So 6 equals 5 thirds, and I'm doing this in case you can't figure it out. 5 thirds times 0 is just that, 0, so b equals 6. So the equation of my first altitude is y equals 5 thirds x plus 6. Okay, that's my green altitude. Now, let's switch to a different color. Let's do purple. Let's do the altitude from a to side bc. Okay, this would be purple. Let me call this e just to make it easier for us. So now I'm looking at segment AE that I drew in, that purple segment. What do we know about this equation, or this line? We know that it's perpendicular to BC. So it has the opposite reciprocal slope of BC. So I need the slope of BC. So slope of BC is going to be uh, 6 plus 4 over 0 minus 6. So that's 10 over negative 6, which is what? Negative 5 thirds. So this slope is negative 5 thirds, which means the slope of AE is going to be positive 3 fifths. Okay. Now, what else do I know? I know that this segment is passing through A. I don't know where E is because it's not the midpoint. So I need to use my point A, which would be negative 4, 2 and find our slope intercept form. So we're gonna do two equals three fifths times negative four over one plus b. So two is actually 10 fifths, just making life easier with common denominators. Negative 12 over five plus b, add that over, we get 22 fifths equals b. So the equation of my other altitude is y equals three fifths x plus 22 fifths. Now to find the ortho center, we're looking at the intersection of those two altitudes. So if I want the intersection of those two altitudes, we're solving a system here. So to solve this system, that are, they're both set equal to y already, I'm just going to set that, 
them equal, these expressions equal to each other. So we're going to get 5 thirds x plus 6 equals 3 fifths x plus 22 fifths. And I know we don't like dealing with fractions, so I'm going to eliminate the fraction by multiplying everything by the common denominator of 15. So if I distribute 15 into each ter each um, multiply by each term here, this would become what? 5, so this is 25x plus, oh, 15 times 6, 90. And then here, this would become 9x plus 66. All right, now let's solve. So we subtract 9, and get 16x equals and subtract 90, right? So subtract 90, we should get 24, and that's going to be a negative 24. And then 24 over 16 is 3 halves, but it's going to be a negative 3 halves. Oh, that's not fun, but it is correct. Okay, so my x is negative 3 halves, and now we have to find the corresponding y coordinates. So, plug our uh, negative 3 halves in. So, 5 thirds times negative 3 halves plus 6. That's good. That cross cancels. We get negative 1. So, we get y equals negative 5 halves plus 6, and 6 is 12 over 2, right? So then this gets me 7 halves. Ew. So our orthocenter is at the point negative 3 halves, which is negative 1 and a half, comma 7 halves, which is 3.5. Now, you could have used another altitude. Using a different altitude, you would get the same orthocenter. Okay? All right, now for you, your turn to try one on your own.